<sighs> new magazine, how amazing. I love getting new magazines. <sighs> so much to read. So much to read. Oh, hi. Um, it's Andrew from Ant RC. And on the subject of magazines, we are going to talk in this little video on how to make scale magazines. I have made a few already for the horrible to cover a cracked dashboard, but that's another story. And I figured that maybe not everybody knows how to make one. So this is my little introduction, my little how to make a scale magazine out of paper, some wood glue, some scissors. That's about it. Some photo editing software you'll need. Um, so yeah, there you go. So these are the kind of things. That's, that's, there's one in there right now. Let me show you it. I've got a magazine on the dashboard and, and this spare one I've done as well, which I've just got stuck in a windscreen wiper, but obviously that'll go in as well. So they're really handy. I think they're a little bit of interest, a little feature just to make it, you know, a little bit of scale detail or scale points, I guess. Um, and they take literally like two minutes to make. So that's what we're going to have a little look at. And let's cut to the computer, see how we start. Right, here we are, folks. This is the image I'm going to turn into a magazine. This is a uh, entertainment weekly or something uh, photo of the of the cover. So download whatever whatever cover your image you, you fancy off the internet. You can all do that. Google it, uh, whatever magazine you fancy, um, character or whatever, and uh, you know right click save as rah rah. It doesn't need to be the biggest image in the world. Don't worry too much about the size of the image. Um, what you want is something of sensible quality. Yeah, obviously, you, you're going to print this very small, so. It, it doesn't have to be massively detailed image um, and it's obviously going to depend upon how good a printer you've got as to how much resolution it can handle my printer incidentally is is one at work it is uh, just a standard cheap old 50 pound office desk jet printer it's nothing fancy so and I should say the images the magazines I should say the magazines that I'm I'm printing are two centimeters tall so it, it doesn't have to be you know a massive image now what you'll also notice in here is I have got a white background around my image and that's because at two centimeters tall it's too narrow for the printer my printer at work to handle my printer at work can't print this size two centimeters by whatever that is across you know 1.5 or something it can't cope with that it has to be I think it had to be an inch wide before my printer would deal with it. So I've put the white border on, so the actual image here is wide enough to be printed. Um, to do that, I went to the image control in here and I said, right, first of all, make the canvas size, and this is completely arbitrary, I just said, make the canvas size 200% in white of the image. So it will basically double the footprint of the, of the picture. Um, and it produced this white background all the way around. I will then resize the whole image. So this is the image size this time. Um, and I would, I just changed it to centimeters. And again, a little bit of trial and error, because obviously this is two centimeters, but this, well, you know, guess what? It's gonna be four centimeters, isn't it? So uh, I guess, I think, anyway. Um, so you just print a few off, get the sizes you want um, to give you the right sized image you know, my, my character in there, the, the doll that's in the in the in the the horrible, isn't very big. She's probably a little bit small for the truck. If I was using a proper um, tenth scale size figure, I might make this a little bigger. It's just trial and error. So that's what I've done. I've put a board around to make the image big enough to print, and resized it to the appropriate size that I want. That's it. And then I just print. Okay. Uh, where are we? There. Okay, so I would just print it. I haven't got my glasses on. So I would just print that and out would out it would come. There's not a lot of rocket science goes on in your photo editor. So don't don't go buying Photoshop or anything daft um, just for this purpose. All right, so that's the computer bit done. You print out a, print out a couple of copies, I would, and um, print out, uh, you know, different sizes maybe uh, while you're on. Okay, and then you shut this down and we go back to the table. So what this really is, so you're not... You know, I don't want to make too much of a big deal of this, right? So it has got, this one I've made earlier, it does have, where are you? There you go. Um, let me turn this the right way around. My video screen's upside down. So, it is, it's got a front cover on it, which is the image that you've, that you've taken. 
and it's got a bunch of pages now at the moment the pages are blank you know and i will uh you know i'm not i'm not bothered right frankly carl <laughs> there's a limit right blank pages are my limit um it's it's sealed at this end uh so it, it has a natural kind of thing to it so that's what we're aiming to make that's what we're going to get to now the way i'm going to get to it very simple is i'm going to cut this on a rectangular there you go on a rectangular uh, strip with this at one end so i'm either going to cut it this way across the paper or that way and then i'm going to fold it up like a concertina and then we're going to trim it and magically with a with a bit of glue which is nothing fancy okay a bit of fancy everyday pva glue wood glue i am going to glue the spine into it all right it's, it's not rocket science so first thing about trimming this out of here i've i've realized as i've done several of these now is don't worry too much about size about trimming it to the exact same size that you need you're going you're going to trim it afterwards as long as you've got paper to work with you've got room to improve now i am going to cut it right to the edge okay of the image here right to the edge of the image just because i know that that is going to be the edge of the magazine all right you could even leave that wide and trim it off after so let's get the scrap paper out of the way so now we've got what is going to be our cover and our pages the longer this is the more pages you're going to have again think about are you making a book if you're going to make a book you probably want a longer strip of paper um, so i could have printed that landscape for example so then we just fold this up so what i've got there's my magazine and you can can you see there that the, that the fold behind this one at the back is just a little proud of the magazine cover it's just a little bit proud what's going to happen is in the end we're going to snip that okay that's going to get snipped off and that's how my pages are going to open up so i'm going to continue folding to the same sort of dimension try and keep it straight so you, you know you're not it's always better to have more paper on the outside than less you're going to trim all this off so remember it doesn't matter if your folds are a bit raggy as long as the area of your image has got paper behind it on every fold all right so that's my concertina yeah so there's my concertina image concertina magazine i should say yeah so when i put it together these bits can you see how they stick out uh there so that's the edge of the image and these two stick out further so they're going to they're going to get trimmed that's why they're sticking out same at the back side all right these two here are sticking out further than the cover image so they and they're going to get trimmed as well that's why they're sticking out it's deliberate now we trim it and this is where it doesn't matter if your paper was too big because you're just now cutting it down to size okay so now we have a magazine that is the right height and this is where we now cut off the excess fold and in turn create our pages now before i do this a little tip get your glue ready when you cut these edges off you're going to produce the pages i could arguably do the front side perhaps but before i do this because it's still concertina it's not going anywhere i'm not going to drop all this on the table and have to reassemble it get your glue ready we're going to cut this end which is the um, outer edge of the magazine we're going to cut that and we're going to have that's the loose pages that are going to be open this is going to be the spine of the magazine so when i when i cut this suddenly i don't have a concertina i will have a set of loose pages and if i'm if i have to put it down to get the glue out to glue the spine up it, i'm going to have to reassemble it which is going to be a nightmare so get your glue ready first guys so as i said i'm just using normal pva nothing fancy you could use super glue but i don't see why you need to it's just a bit too instant and well, you just get your fingers stuck together won't you so um speaking of fingers i am a believer in fingers um 
I, I would probably use a cocktail stick for this if I'd brought one down. Um, if I was in my room, if I was in my man cave, I would use a cocktail stick. So I've got a little bit of glue there, uh, there. Okay, ready for you, ready, ready to go. So I am going to take my scissors again with clean fingers. I've got no, you wipe the glue off. And I'm going to cut the pages open at this side. All right. So we now have three trimmed sides to the to the magazine. All right. And now, so this you've got to be careful now because you are cutting the concertinas away. So you don't want to drop this. You don't want to put it down. You don't want to mess about. So I am now cutting the spine last. Cutting the spine last. Why is that? Because I'm going to keep a hold of it. I'm going to cut the spine open, keep a hold of it, dunk it in the glue. Jobs are good. Un. I don't want to put this in the glue and then start trimming the other side because I'll get it all over my fingers. All right. So is this in focus? Are you getting this? Come on, camera. How are you, man? Work for a living. What are you doing? There we go. Are you still with me? Are you with me? All right. Working for a living now. Good. So we're going to trim right along here. Tight hold so it doesn't move and you end up with a dodgy trim. Might just cut a little bit off here. These scissors are not the best. Right. So I've still got this how I want it and I'm not going to let go. I'm going to keep tight hold and I'm going to drop the spine of it, which we've just trimmed, into the glue. Well, okay, I'll bring the glue. Let's bring the glue to the magazine. So I'm just going to make sure I've still got this square. And I'm just going to run this. Oh, come on, camera, please. This is important stuff, man. Right, so I'm just going to run this down the spine of the magazine. And because it's only PVA wood glue, you know, it's not the end of the world if it, uh, you get a bit too much in. And I'm going to open up the pages a little bit just so that it sinks. Some of the glue goes in between the pages and you get a slightly better join. And I'm going to smooth it out. And I'm going to put a bit of glue down the leading, down, down, the, down this side, just by the spine. And just on this, this corner, you know, I wouldn't go anywhere near like halfway. But this just again allows you just to pinch the magazine shut so that you get a tight sorry the autofocus is just I take the day off on it all right so it's nice and tight so I'm just wiping away a little bit of the glue and what I'm hoping to get now is it's a nice tight back spine side of the magazine and that's it so I will leave that to dry, so the wood glue can go off. Um, and then when it's all when it's when the, when the wood glue's dried, which won't be too long. Let's just pop that down there. All right, just pop it down on the edge of the of, of the mat. Where are you? There you go. Um, so once it's dried, and you end up with with this. Then I would just just fan open the pages a little bit. Yeah, just fan open the pages a bit so when it sits on the on on, on whatever surface, you get a little bit of a three-dimensional, um, you know, lift to it. You can scrunch it up a bit. You could fold the page over. You know, rah rah. But the point of gluing, not only the spine but this kind of this side of the uh, of the top and bottom, is that the it, it doesn't open all the way. You know, so you you keep. Your magazines don't, you know, they, they, they've got weight, they've got gravity pulling on them, they keep themselves shut and they just free open a bit at the, at the far end when they've been read a few times, you know what it's like. So that's it, that's how I would make scale magazines. It literally takes oop, half the time that I've spent doing this because obviously I'm talking and rambling on and doing it carefully. So I hope that's been of some help. Get your favourite magazines out, people. Not rude ones though. Terry wanted me to do a rude magazine and I wasn't going to have it, so... You know, keep it safe. Keep it kid-friendly, kid eh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Have fun.